On February 16th, the D.C. Zoning Commission had planned to make a final vote decision on the portions of the campus plan that pertain to the main and east campus. However, a continued unease about certain elements of the proposed project led the commission to decide to delay the vote. The commission requested that American University make further revisions to its application. The commission cited two main issues that prevented them from granting approval. These include AU's plan to create a neighborhood liaison committee and AU's plan for managing noise at Jacobs and Rees Athletic Field. For the campus plan to move forward, AU must create a forum where the neighboring community can meet with AU officials during the term of the campus plan to raise and resolve issues. And when I look at this, this is something that just says, okay, we're going to have a meeting, we're going to set the agenda, as somebody said in one of the, one of the submissions, uh, we're going to have the whole neighborhood come in and we're going to revisit it, but we're not going to end with any resolution. That's the way I took this, and I think if, if this right here was beefed up like it should be, I think a, these campus plans and these discussions would probably be hashed out long before it gets down here to the Zoning Commission. In a statement to the Eagle, AU's Chief of Staff, David Taylor, said AU would work to strengthen the Neighborhood Liaison Committee to gather for information sharing, updating, and attempting to work out solutions before issues become problems. The proposed installation of a new sound system at Jacobs Athletic Field also raised concerns. I mean, I think the, the standard in this case, because we're talking about a campus plan, which is, you know, a university use in a residential neighborhood has to be higher than simply meeting the letter of the law with respect to um, the sound, sound ordinance. You know, I think this is a fairly fundamental issue when we're talking about a campus plan. It's whether the university's use is going to have an adverse impact on the residences adjacent. And in this case, it is. The commission voiced its general approval for the North Hall, but indicated that they would like to see further refinements to the building exterior. The commission did not challenge the Department of Transportation's finding that the campus plan will not cause adverse impact on traffic or parking. AU did make some revisions to the campus plan since the previous Zoning Commission meeting on January 23rd. In its calculation of the percentage of AU full-time undergraduate students that will be provided housing by AU, AU no longer plans to include the beds provided in leased off-campus space. AU's goal is to provide housing to 67% of its full-time undergraduate students by the fall of 2016. On the East Campus site, AU agreed to modify the exterior of two of the buildings from limestone to brick to more closely complement the adjacent Westover townhouses. The amount of retail space has been reduced and limited to one building on Nebraska Avenue. A new Zoning Commission hearing is scheduled for March 8th. Monica Fidler, ATV News.